Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. Deep under the mountains of South Korea, with no natural sunlight, something is growing. It's a salad. This is the world's first commercial tunnel farm, constructed inside a disused highway tunnel, and Che Jae Bin is the person who created it. 일전에는 여기가 그 대한민국 최초의 고속도로로 쓰였던 터널이고 The tunnel's sharp curve caused several collisions, so they decided to carve out a new, more gently curved route right next door. The old tunnel, all 600 meters of it, is now being used to grow salads, leafy greens, even strawberries. And to encourage them to grow, classical music is being played throughout the tunnel. Che actually recommends Beethoven or Schubert. Indoor farm's most important feature is that the amount of air can be balanced in the same way. Using LED lights allows Che and his team to grow crops all year round. They're also what gives the farm its pink glow. They emit only the spectrum of light that plants use to photosynthesize. New methods of farming like this can help tackle the challenge of food production in the face of climate crisis. Global warming is already escalating soil erosion, water scarcity, and the loss of vegetation, leading to declining yields in crops. 인구가 이제 더욱 늘어나게 될 텐데 뭐 여러 가지 야채들을 키우는 환경은 굉장히 나빠지고 있습니다. 앞으로의 식생활에 건전한 그런 먹거리를 제공할 수 있는 유일한 대안이라고 생각을 하고 있습니다. In 2017, agriculture accounted for 9% of all global greenhouse gas emissions, but vertical farming could radically reduce this figure. The space taken up by a traditional farm is huge, often requiring trees to be cleared, and the vehicles that till the land or harvest crops burn even more fossil fuels. Traditional farms also use much more water than vertical farms, and it's usually lost to the soil and can't be recycled. 일반적인 인도화 팜은 그 실내에서 모든 전기 에너지를 투입해서 어 이제 그 온습도 조건을 맞추는데 언더그라운드는 자체적으로 열교환을 일으키고 그 실외나 실내보다 일정한 온도를 유지하기 때문에 And that's what makes this farm uniquely successful. In fact, Che has plans to build many more farms using the same technology but in suitable urban locations. 앞으로는 도시에서 멀리 떨어진 농장에서 생산을 해서 물류 이동을 하는 그런 체계가 이제 없어지리라고 봅니다. 집 안에서도 가까운 스토어에서도 또는 지하철역에서도 그런 얼버팜 형태가 그 곳곳에 생기게 될 것으로 보입니다. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.